the daily drinker. Mmm, looks lovely. Thanks for joining me again, back in the kitchen, on the coffee. I want to shout out to Jake, who got in touch and has sent me a little present. Now then, I say a present, not really. Caffeinate. They're a coffee roaster from down Bristol way, as far as I can gather. I'll put a link into the website. Um, he watched one of, one of my reviews and said, can I send you some coffee beans and see what you think? Now, he reckons he's into this no-nonsense. Uh, he reckons my review was no-nonsense, which the one that I did show him was, uh, yeah, it was a funny old video, that one. But anyway, let's crack on. What we have here is three bags. We've got the Daily Drinker. We've got the uh, One Decaf. And we've got the Deathly Strong. So, I'm not looking forward to that one. I might have to get a bit of a help to uh, yeah, help me out with a review on this one. As you know, I'm not such a, a really strong coffee drinker. But the daily drinker, interested in that. That one does, uh, yeah, that really floats me boat. I reckon we'll give that one a go. And then decaf. Well, I can't say I have put a decaf bean through the Rancilio. So I'm intrigued to see what that's going to come out like, what's, what that's going to taste like. Yeah, let's crack on. Let's, uh, well, I think first of all, let's see if we've been shortchanged. We like a bit of uh, controversy. Let's get the scales out. What do you get for your money? Let's get it on. Daily drinker. Ooh, should be 250 grams. We've actually got 274, so there's a bonus. 268. 265. So we've got plenty of beans for his book. So you know, if you were buying these, you know you're going to get plenty in the bag. That's a good start. First thing I've got to say is the seller tape on the front of this bag is my fault because when I opened the box, um, I slipped straight through it, which was a real stupid thing to do. But no damage done. I just put a tape on there just to uh, stop it beans going everywhere. Now these come in at eight pound a bag. So if you were to buy them from the website, it's all online. Bang your order in, eight quid a bag. Let's check them out, let's see what we're getting. Let's see what they're like. So we've got three dishes. We'll do a little, a little comparison to start with. Um, let's have a look at these little fellas, see what we're getting here. So what we've got, it's, um, we've got a roasted date on it. So these were roasted on the 19th of the 3rd, 2020, um, which we're now on the, uh, 13th of the 4th, uh, so yeah, nearly like three and a bit weeks ago. Cut the BS, whip it out every time. Your go-to coffee, hints of praline and caramel. Right, let's have a look, let's get the bag open. Let's see what we're getting here. So, the daily drinker. Mm. Looks lovely. Nice. I quite like this simplified, no nonsense, no faffing and all that. You know, it's, it's yeah, I'm into a bit of that. I can't get the bag open, so uh, this is, this is gonna be a video of me fumbling about with the bag. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, there's a little tab here. Oh. So we should pull the little tab. God, Jesus, you won't send me any more beans because I can't get the flipping tab off to get in there. No nonsense. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll give it no nonsense. i get the skins on it. This will sort it out. I'll try that to start with. Yeah, I'm not sure about the... Uh, the tab on the bag. I'll try it on the next pack, see if it was something I did wrong, but anyway, we're in. Mm, they smell nice. They smell nice. Look at them little fellas in there, look. Oh, oh, oh. Let's have a look, let's see what we get. Now, the first impressions of these, Oh, they smell absolutely delightful. Look at the colour of them, look. We've got some really nice, light, 
light roasted beans in there. We've got a couple of different colours going on here. We've got we've got a blend. We have definitely got a blend going on. We've got some dark, darker roasted, lighter roasted. Got a nice, I'd say you're talking two thirds a light roasted. I mean, we've got some real, look at that one. Oh, we've got some really nice light roasted beans in there as well. Now, now I'm buzzing. I wanna get them in the grinder. They look amazing. Let's have a look at the, uh, let's go for the Deathly Strong. Let's go for the Deathly Strong and have a look at them. We're gonna see what they look like as well. Let's we get this bag open like it's, uh, like we should do. I don't know, I don't know what the crack is with this. Do you pull it outwards? Is that, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Oh, how stupid am I, look. Oh, look at this. <laughs> you just pull it, you just pull it on the outside. <laughs> now we're in it, look. Now we've, got it. <laughs> now we've got it, and then you can, oh, then it just clips to reseal there like that. Well, that took some figuring out, didn't it? That took some figuring out, but now we know what to do. They're lovely little bags, aren't they? Oh. Deathly strong. So we've got, you've been warned, a taste you can't forget. Wake up and focus the hints of biscuits and chocolate. Mm. <laughs> uh, roasted on the 20th of the 3rd, 2020. So again, a nice, um, Now these don't, these are not smelling like they're like mega strong, but let's, uh, let's get them in the bowl. Now I'm mildly surprised here because deathly strong, I was expecting them to be black, like proper black, but they're not. In fact, these look, they look quite, um, they do look quite a mild bean, but, uh, well. So in comparison of the two, there's, there's not a lot of difference just by looking at them. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. These are not black. If I compare it to, these ones here, these were the Cafe Royale. Do you remember those? I did a review on them. Now look at the colour of them suckers. You know, this is the Deathly Strong. You can see, you can see the difference in the colour there, look. These, uh, this Cafe Royale are black. They're pretty black, shiny little beans. Really, uh, really dark and consistently dark. Every one in that bag is, is as dark as you like, but, um, these, you can see the difference of, oh, okay, yeah, you can see the difference there, look. These are quite light. They're quite a light looking bean. I might be fooled though, they might be, they might taste strong as hell, I don't know. So, anyway, definitely strong, daily drinker. And then we've got the one decaf, done right. So, we've got, uh, You'll forget it's a decaf, no song and dance, just awesome coffee, hints of praline and chocolate. So it's saying it's pretty much exactly the same as the uh, Easy All Day of, but decaf. So let's go for the bag. I'm gonna try and get it open this time and do it properly. Oh, it's so easy when you know how, look. It's so easy when you know how. What a novice, eh, look at that. Now. See, they smell quite strong. Ah, now look at these, look at these. Now this is a, this is strange. This is strange, it's almost like they put them in the wrong bag. Because if you looked at these now, straight off the bat, these are dark and shiny, very dark and shiny, like, very similar to to the um, the Cafe Royale beans, dark and shiny. In fact, I'd say that the uh, decaf are slightly darker and slightly shinier. So, the, the, is it just the decaf process that has made these 
really dark and really shiny. I'm not sure. They smell strong. They smell strong, they do. They do smell very, very strong. Right, well, let's have some testing going on. First of all, I'm excited. These excite me. They smell gorgeous. They smell, they smell gorgeous. They look absolutely beautiful. A real array of different colours and textures in there. Let's get them in the hot pot. Let's get them in, let's get them ground up. Easy, all day, daily drink up. Let's get them in. We'll get plenty in there. Get the lid on it. Right, let's have a grind. Now, grind at the moment, we are still on. We're on like an eight at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure how these are going to come out, so we'll stick with the eight. It seems to be a pretty... Um, you know, similar grind for most beans. They've come out really nice and light. Oh, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? That looks nice, that does. Let's give that a little tamp. Again, the puck, now it's compressed, it's lovely. It's very smooth, a light brown. Let's bang that in there. Let's get a glass on it so we can see what's going on. All right, here we go. Holy smoke. Oh my word, look at that coming out of there. <gasps> wow, look at that. Oh, that is just delightful. It's still settling down. Smells, it smells really, really soft and subtle. Mm, it's got a lovely, lovely aroma to it. Mm. It was hot. It's a really nice flavour, really nice flavour. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to compare it to something. Um, I'm at the minute, I'm struggling. Now, you can tell you can tell straight away that these are a freshly roasted bean. They've not been sat in a packet for a year on the shelf. Um, when you buy the big, the big branded stuff, the Lavazas, um, the Kenko and all that sort of thing, the ones that have, uh, you know, the bulk, bulk made wholesale coffee, you can tell the difference. This, this is tasting very, very similar to the St. Martin's coffee which was a local roaster. Um, very nice, very nice coffee. Probably my favorite coffee I, I, I drank was the um, Intrepid from St. Martin's. This, it's, it's down, that, down that route, it's, it is that kind of flavor. I really wanna put that in a latte. I wanna try that in a latte and see what it comes out like. Anyway. Enough of that nonsense. Let's um, let's get on. Oh, this could get messy. <laughs> this could get messy. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get them out, grind some of those ones up, do a glass, and then do them. Right, yeah. Let's get these out of here. Oh, I've not thought about this, have I? Right, let's get them into the dish with that. Uh, 
<laughs> right, okay, that's in the dish. Let me let me grind out the rest that's in here. Okay, that's completely empty now of the daily drinker. So, uh, oh, deathly strong. <laughs> I don't know, because they don't look that bad. The deathly strong doesn't look that different to, to the... Uh, it's not the blend is different. The blend is definitely different. So, uh, let's have a look. Let's get these in here. I think I've got to call in some help at this point. Help is on its way, but let's get these into the uh, into the hot pot. Heavy hitter, deathly strong. Hints of biscuit and chocolate. You've been warned, a taste you can't forget. Wake up and focus. Right, okay. Let's get them in there then. Right, they're in the hot pot. Let's have a look at the puck on that first one as well. Let's, uh, let's see what that's going to come out like. Um, oops, the daisies. All right, there it is. So this is the puck from the original coffee. It is, it's a bit wham. Oh, 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 there we go. We've got a good extraction. It's gone right through. So we're not too far off on the grind. Ouch! Whoa, that's hot. We're not too far off on the grind. I'm happy with that. Let's get that back in the... Uh, in there. Let's see what these come through on the ground. Very, very similar looking puck there. Quite a light, quite a light powder. Um, let's give it another tap there. And again, it, they are quite, quite a light bean. So I don't know where the strength and the hit is coming from because like I say, every sort of strong coffee I've had in the past has been dark, real black bean, little black bean in there. So. Uh, Let's get that in there. Let's have a glass and let's go for an extraction. came out slower, didn't it? A lot, quite a bit slower actually, that one. Look at the crema on that sucker. It's huge, <laughs> it's massive. Look at that. That's a really good sign. That's a, that's a sign that we've, we've got, the, the, the settings are quite good on the, uh, the grind um, and the extraction, because that is just, I can't say I've seen a head like that. Wow. I can't say I've seen a head like that. Not that big out of this machine. That is massive. Mm. Let me just uh, dare I try it. Let's have a go. Oh, you fighter. <laughs> nice. Flipping out. Come in here, boy. Ooh, wow, some smells going on in there. First of all, I've got a few questions. Yeah. We've got to just uh, mention to our viewers, what, what exactly uh, qualifies you to um, taste test this coffee? Uh, have, you, have, have you ever worked in a coffee shop? I have. I have worked in a coffee shop. I've worked in multiple coffee shops. Ah. Yes. Have you ever had barista training? I have had barista training. I have professional barista training. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, you like strong coffee? I do, because we're different, aren't we? You like a blonde coffee. Like, we do Starbucks. You don't, you like a blonde. I do like a blonde Whereas coffee. Whereas I like to know I'm drinking a coffee. Right, so what we've got here, let me just wow. give you a quick rundown, because we do have a good selection. We've got the Daily Drinker, and they came out really well, and have a sip of that. Right? Smart. 
hard, isn't it? Yeah. Smooth. Yeah, yeah. Try that and tell me what you think of that. That is the Deathly Strong. It's a nice call. It, the head on it came out amazing. Mm, the crema awesome. was huge. Try it. It came out slightly slower. It's strong though, isn't it? <laughs> that will blow your head off. That's strong, isn't it? No? Yeah, yeah it's strong, yeah, but it's, it's just... Both of them have got a real nice texture to them. They have got a nice texture. They have a texture. I was, just, I was just saying, I think this, the only thing I can compare this to is St. Martin's. Yeah. The local roaster shop. I prefer that one. You like, the, you like the Death of Strong? Yeah. That daily drink is really nice. It's smooth and it's perfect for you. It's perfect for you. But this one, that one's a lovely coffee, that is. You can see, oh, like I can see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Um, they are, the Deathly is a slightly darker, it is a slightly darker, well, yeah, extraction. Let's get that decaf in. Let's, uh, let's get these back in the bowl. Let's just get them in the bowl. Okay, so that's completely out now. Let's get that down there. Okay, all right, that's them in there. Let's lob the puck out of there. And have a look at that. Again, it's bloody hot. Ouch! And, yeah, it's a really good extraction again. It's really come through clean. Ouch! Oh, that's hot. Right the way through the puck. So let's get this ground out. Colour to it. Right, let's go for it. Let's see what the extraction's like. Well, it's it's coming in. That's not bad. It's not a bad. Uh, it's not going to kill me with the caffeine. So it's a different bean there, so it's going to possibly be a different grind. It's got a bit of a twang to it. To be fair. Maybe if it's if it's um, americano or latte, I mean, there or is a twang long, to it. Long cut the, but the twang, the twang is just it, it, it doesn't it, it, it doesn't taste decaf. Normally, with decaf coffee, you're only drinking decaf coffee. One thing to be said, they are all different. Yeah. They they have all got different traits to them for sure. Let's bang them all into a latte, and we'll try them all and see how they come out. So let's get some more. Get some more grinds done. Let's get some lattes whipped up. Let's get these shots extracted. Let's crack on. This is going to take some doing. Never done three different blends of bean and the three oh, milks all in one go. Do it. We're going to give it a shot. Try and make it as fair as possible. Right then. Let's go for a decaf. Not looking too bad that one. Cold. And Definitely strong. Let's get the rest of them in there. <laughs> Let's get them ground out. It's got to be the most cremery coffee I've ever seen. It is crazy amount. There's a crazy amount there. Flipping it. Just look at that. It is unbelievable. It's going to be so strong. That's going to buy your head off. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
you mixed full of peas up. No, 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 no. I think I know one just uh, one over the floor. <laughs> Shucks. So it wet, wet That's that one done. And then last but not least is the daily drinker. I've got a few left in here, let's get them in there. This is going straight in the decaf to start with. Here we go for the decaf. see that settling down now it's reaming it's reaming through the coffee I'm still getting that that little bit of it's, it's a bit acidic it's a little bit of that is, that is the word I'm looking for there's a little bit of acidity, acidity, acidity there, <laughs> to that. And I think it's more in the creme, obviously, because that's where the, the, the strength is, is hiding at the minute. Yeah, that's got a little twang to it. But if you're into decaf and you're not, you know, there's, there's no caffeine in there, supposedly, so. Uh... Now we're getting through that creme up. The flavour's coming in a bit more, it's a little bit more subtle, but have a swazzle that. Oh, I can't, it's busy, it's busy. Whipping up that milk. Try that, is that good? Is that good to go? Right, this is the deathly drinker. When you go, when you go in, like, twirl oh. into the glass. No, look, because that's when you can really. Oh, look, just mix your crumble. Barista, Barista Mason. Barista. Barista. Cack on. Leave me out. Hey, hey, hey. Too much. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, okay, look, a tulip or something. Oh, for goodness sake. Hey, show me up now, look. Show me up. Right. <laughs> That does not have that acidity. I can't even say it. Acidity. Acidity. That's the right word. Yeah. Acidity. The acidity. It's not. This doesn't have that. The, the, the acidic taste that that uh, mm. decaf does. You know what? Though? That's not bad. It tastes. Taste. It is quite a strong coffee, though. It is got a bit of punch to it, but it's not mind blowing. I'm not going to go with this. Is going to. Like knock me out, and, but it, it is it is a strong coffee. I think the thing with this decaf one, obviously comparing it to actual beans, is probably not right. But as a decaf bean goes, that's a lovely lovely decaf coffee. Right, next one. Did you? Let's get this last one in. I'm looking forward to this daily drinker. I really am. I want to get this latteed up. <laughs> I have to say, definitely oh, strong. Definitely strong. Is a really good. It's thing. nice. That's it's nice. That is. Kremer on these, it's just unbelievable. If you go back to my videos and you looked at the St. Martin's coffee, it's a long, long while ago. Um, I, I'm sure you're gonna see some resemblances in, in the, the extractions. But again, we are doing double shots, so these are gonna be a little bit more punchy than what they normally would. Um, but 
a lot of people say you need to do a double basket to get a really good extraction. So uh, here we go. Well, we tried single one here for a long while, didn't we? And it was it just wasn't well, not working right, was it? Yeah, the trouble is, drinking all this coffee, we will be um, shitting later. <laughs> Gonna have the old squitsies. <laughs> Holy smoke, we're running to the loo. Squitsy with Browns. setting up absolutely beautiful look at that, it's nice, that looks it does look nice it's really kind of consistency throughout the middle you can well. see it flowing through there look look at that go beautiful very nice very nice no trouble is if I want some more of these beans we'll have to buy them that ain't no good, is it? <laughs> I have to say, that's probably the best free coffee I've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the better one? That one. Definitely the daily. For me, daily drinker is the one. That is, that is the best. It is slightly milder. It is, although, surprisingly, the beans, if you just held them beans and said, which one of those two is the milder coffee, it's the blend, it's the blend. These are a light bean, but they're strong. They are strong. I, I would say, I think, this one's just got some really light, this has got some really light ones in there, some really, so there's just a few really blonde beans within that mix. I think as beans go, you read what it said in here on their little, uh, what do you call them? This is Sign, sort of, yeah. synops synopsis or whatever yeah. you're saying. Um, Cut the BS, whip it out every time. It's probably right because it doesn't. You don't drink anything. Oh, that's got a lovely hint of whatever. You drink it and you just think that's a nice, nice coffee. coffee. Yeah. yeah, and the same with that one. It's probably pretty much the same. You don't drink it and think, oh, you know, like I mean, like, like I say, like I said earlier about the the local beans we've got, the Carrera. I drink them, and I know that's a Carrera bean. It's got like a really like slightly woody taste to it, and you can taste it. It's a nice, but you can't drink a lot of it. These, there's no hint of anything really. You just drink it, and you think it's a nice coffee, really nice coffee, and that's a stronger, nicer coffee. And the decaf, as decaf go, it's not as nice as the other beans because it's decaf. But as a decaf bean goes, compared to other decaf coffees, it's it's a decent coffee. I really like that. I think we ought to get the uh, bread knife in to try that one. There we go. The first one to try is that one. What do you think of that? Did you see the face then? I saw the face. I like that one. You like that one? So yeah. one, of them's, one, of them's, one of them's a normal coffee, like a normal bean. One of them's daily bean. drinker. One of them's a strong bean and one of them's a decaf bean. Can you tell which one is which from that? And which which, which you... way would you say? So, so out of those three, which one would you say is the daily drinker? That one. Which one is okay. that? Is that the one that you That's said the one was that I like, the yeah. one that you like? So which one would you say is the decaf? Hang on, no, you didn't pick that. Yeah, you picked, did, you, did you pick that as a decaf? I thought you were picking that as a decaf. I think that's a decaf. <laughs> Could it be right? Could it be right? Are you sure? Have a sip of that one. No, that's strong. I'm not keen on that. So, you think daily drinker, strong, decaf. Yeah. Three out of three. Hey, hey, hey. What about that? Hey? <laughs> so, there you have it. We've got his beans caffeinate. Absolutely. 
well, I can't thank you enough, Jake, for sending me the beans to start with so we can make this uh, crazy little video. But great selection. If you're into your decaf stuff, you know, they're a good decaf bean if you like decaf. Um, you've got these deathly strong, which are, yeah, pretty strong. They're stronger than the daily drinker, for sure. But um, yeah, my favourite, which I thought it would be, would be the daily drinker. Uh, you like the Deathly Strong? Deathly Strong. I'm surprised. I mean, it says a lot that you like these. Because normally you, you drink a strong bean and but ugh. But yeah. you, you've had them and you've liked them. So um, they are strong, but they're not as strong as other strong. No, <laughs> but, no, but no. Yeah. Good bean. That's they're, it. They all, uh, like I said earlier, they're, they're not, they are a good coffee. They're all good coffees, but that's a, that's a lovely one. If you've enjoyed it, drop us a little thumbs up, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bean me up, Scotty. We are putting them back in the right bag, aren't we? Yeah. And coming up soon, uh, we'll be having the Brazil bean test. These are the ones that are available off Amazon, really good price. Let's see if they live up to the expectations. Now, the first impressions of these, oh, they smell absolutely delightful. But look at the colour of them. These are nice. There's some, oh, you can't see. Look at the colour of them, look. We've got some really nice, light, light roasted beans in there. Got a couple of different 